Hello and welcome to the series of videos where we will be showing you the various features in our latest curtain wall tool for Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition. So, let us begin. With the latest edition of Open Buildings Designer, we have included the ability to modify the panels after the placement of your curtain wall. Let us see how we can do that. After the placement of the curtain wall, we simply have to select the panel that we want to modify. You will observe a small pop-up appearing just beside your selection that contains options such as toggle visibility, toggle base curve visibility and modify properties. If we click on the modify properties, the modify curtain wall tab will open and from there we just need to select the panel type that we want to have for the specific panel. Here we currently have the glazing type 1 selected by default. Let us click on the drop down menu and select half frosted glass. We then have to click again to accept our selection and you can see that the panel type for this panel is changed to half frosted. Let us try another panel. We select the panel, click on modify properties from the pop up menu and then change the panel type to louvers. Click again to accept the changes and there you go. The panel type has been changed to louvers. It's that easy. In the latest edition of Open Buildings Designer, along with the ability to modify the panels, we have also added the ability to modify the mullions of a curtain wall after they are placed. How do you do that? Let's get straight to it. Just like the workflow of modifying panels, we simply have to select the mullion that we want to modify. A pop-up menu will appear just beside your selection and from there you would have to select the modify properties option. The modify curtain wall tab will open and from there we just need to select our desired mullion type. In this case, let us select 50 by 150 front frame. We click again to accept our changes and the mullion type has changed. Let us try another mullion with a different mullion type. We select the mullion, go to modify properties. This time we select 50 by 150 center frame. We click again to accept our changes and as you can see, the mullion type is changed. Here we will show you how to move or copy mullions as per your requirement. Let us first select the mullion that we want to move. If we hover over the blue handle point, we will see a pop-up menu appear for us. From there, we need to select the move option. This will allow us to move the mullion according to our needs in the upward or downward direction for this horizontal mullion. Now, what if we want to move an entire line of mullions at once? Simple, select the mullion and from the pop-up menu, select the move line option. This will select the line of mullions and move all of them in tandem. Now, what if we want to copy a mullion? We have a provision for that as well. Select the mullion, from the pop-up menu select copy and then just copy the mullion to your desired location. Similar to the move line option, we can also copy an entire line of mullions by selecting the copy line option from the pop-up menu and copying the mullion as per our needs. Make sure you also watch the other videos in this series to know more about curtain walls in Open Buildings Designer.